In the past 24 hours, Donald Trump has trashed and undermined the Republican who chairs the House Freedom Caucus. Donald Trump has trashed and attacked Fox for having Paul Ryan uh, on its board of directors. And Donald Trump has attacked any business leader who doesn't pledge 100% loyalty to him. These are the attributes of a wannabe authoritarian. Let me just break down what is going on here. So Bob Good, who is the Congress member from Virginia's fifth congressional district, um, a MAGA Republican who endorsed Ron DeSantis, however, during the Republican primary for the presidential nomination. For that, Donald Trump never forgave Bob Good, despite the fact that he had Bob Good, the Congress member, the Republican, far right wing guy, Bob Good, showed up at Donald Trump's criminal trial. Uh, Donald Trump dressed him up and Donald Trump made him attack the judge and the jury and the witnesses for Donald Trump. Donald Trump paraded this guy at his criminal trial, where Trump was later convicted on 34 separate felony counts, only for Donald Trump to then attack him and post that Bob Good is bad for Virginia. Currently, Bob Good is down by around 400 votes in the Republican primary for Virginia's 5th Congressional District. But Donald Trump went all in telling people not to vote for Bob Good. Donald Trump continuously posting post after post after post saying Bob Good is bad for Virginia and bad for the USA. He turned his back on our incredible movement and was constantly attacking and fighting me until recently when he gave me a warm and loving endorsement, but really it was too late. The damage had been done. I just want to make America great again. And the person that can help most is someone by the name of, then it goes, John McGuire, who currently leads by a few hundred votes. That ain't making America great again. It's forcing any Republican to kiss the ring or they can't be a Republican today. And then all of Donald Trump's uh, supporters were posting things like this today. Some real disgusting stuff. This is what Laura Loomer wrote. And Donald Trump says Laura, he's very close to Laura Loomer. Um, she's one of his kind of closest confidants. Um, and one of the kind of biggest influencers in the current Republican Party today. I hate to say that, but it's true. Uh, she goes, hopefully by losing their positions in office and hopefully by being driven out of politics forever since they refuse to embrace MAGA. The anti-Trump GOP reps can always go suck Rupert Murdoch's C-word, though for a spot on the board of Fox News, since they don't want to be loyal to Trump. Luckily for all of the rhinos, I'm told that Rupert never says no. And then she also calls Bob Good a traitor for not supporting Donald Trump in the Republican primary against Ron DeSantis. Loomer goes, what happened to Bob Good last night needed to happen for the sake of restoring fear back into the minds of elected Republicans. Donald Trump is the leader of the Republican Party. If you try to resist, you will be removed and replaced. Traitors will be punished. Hashtag Trump 2024. Now, she is a major leader in the modern day Republican Party, using words like there needs to be fear. If you resist, you will be removed. Traitors will be punished. Just so you see, here's what Donald Trump had previously said about Laura Loomer. Play this clip. Hey everybody, we're here at Bedminster. I'm with the greatest president ever, President Donald Trump, who is killing it right now. There's a new poll out, right? You're crushing it, you're up over 50 points. And uh, it's a beautiful day here, beautiful club. It's my first time here at Bedminster. Well, it's great to have you. You've been really very special. You work hard and you are a, uh, you are a very opinionated lady. I have to tell you that. And in my opinion, I like that. Well, I but appreciate, I appreciate that. all of your support and you've been terrific. And everybody appreciates your support. Yes. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you. Thank you so much for inviting me to sit with you today. It's a pleasure. You're the best. I love you. 
And I'll just show you one more clip of Donald Trump saying something about Laura Loomer so you can see for yourself. Play the clip. We have a lot of great friends and a lot of great people. Laura, how are you? You look so beautiful, as always. That's a woman with courage. You don't want to be, you don't want to be loomered. If you're loomered, you're in deep trouble. That's the end of your career, in a sense. By the way, who they're attacking is Bob Good, who people consider to be like as far right wing. I don't like the, the traditional media would say that Bob Good's as conservative as you get. That's how they would refer to him. And Donald Trump's attacking Bob Good. And I'm no Bob Good. I am not a Bob Good supporter. Let me be very clear. Although. I just want to point out, though, that if Donald Trump is claiming that he uh, is part of this conservative wing, uh, they call themselves the Freedom Caucus, even though I don't think they're conservative, he, he then undermines Bob Good um, because Bob Good wouldn't kiss his ring. Here's Bob Good going to Trump's criminal trial, and here's what Donald Trump made Bob Good say, only for Donald Trump to then. Uh, humiliate Bob Good again. So he puts Bob Good through a humiliation ritual and then endorses Bob Good's opponent and attacks Bob Good. Watch this play the clip. President Trump, this is lawfare again to try to steal or to rig an election. You got a corrupt prosecutor, you got a corrupt star witness, you got a corrupt judge whose daughter is one of the leading fundraisers for the Democrat Party, having raised some hundred million dollars. That's the judge's daughter. This is a crooked sham trial to try to uh, hurt the nominee who's going to be the president of the United States, whether or not they like it or whether or not they want that to happen. President Trump is going to be reelected. I'll turn it back to Matt Gates. Have you heard that the flavored air category is quickly becoming the leading alternative to vaping and smoking? It's a whole new movement towards better habits led by the sponsor of this video, Fume. Fume is an award-winning flavored air device. Flavored air isn't like vaping. If vapor was compared to sticky soda, Fume cores are closer to herbal teas. Fume has lots of delicious flavors to choose from like crisp mint and orange vanilla. With flavored air, you can satisfy your oral fixation through a passive diffusion system that utilizes no electronics, vapor, or combustion. Fume draws flavor to your mouth. Fume fills the void. Ditching a bad habit can leave. You still have something to reach for. Fume is not a vape. There's no vapor and you could use it anywhere. There's no nicotine. It's not addictive. The non-toxic flavors are a guilt-free alternative. Fume doesn't use any batteries, so you'll never need to charge it. The design is super sleek. It looks awesome and you can truly feel the weighted high quality design. One of the things about Fume is that it's made to fidget with and it comes anxiety with magnets, staps, and clicks. Fume continuously invests in third-party studies to ensure the safety of their products. Fume is also backed by doctors in the United States. My favorite Fume flavor is Chris Mint. It is honestly delicious, and I couldn't recommend this more for anyone trying to quit their bad habit. Fume has served over 300,000 customers, and you can be the next success story. For a limited time, use my code MIDAS, M-E-I-D-A-S, to get a free gift with your journey pack. So head to tryfume.com. That's T-R-Y-F-U-M.com. Tryfume.com. Use code Midas or scan the QR code on screen to get a free gift with your order today. So then you know Donald Trump also posted this. Business executives and shareholder representatives should be 100% behind Donald Trump. Anyone that's not should be fired for incompetence. Well, that's interesting. Let's take a look at the Trump media stock right here that is crashing hard while the actual stock market is at record highs. $327 million loss in the last three months, the last quarter, you lost $327 million on only $750,000 in revenue while the actual stock market is hitting records, this is what's happening to you. So I, I, I think that there would be a reason why I think business leaders would not be supportive of you, despite all of the promises that you make to them and the fact that they want to have lower taxes and they're willing to sell out our country for that. Um, but look, as, as Michael Cohen said on Political Beatdown, he goes, look, I know Donald Trump's mind. And the first thing Donald Trump's going to do if he takes over as a dictator will be to go to all the billionaires and take their money MBS style. He goes, that's what the plan is. And by the way, it's alleged that Trump and Kushner helped uh, MBS do that to the other people in Saudi Arabia as well. So Trump did that. 
Then Donald Trump posted, nobody can ever trust Fox, and I am one of them, with the weak and ineffective rhino Paul Ryan on its board of directors, the former Republican Speaker of the House, Paul Ryan. Then Trump goes, he's a total lightweight, a failed and pathetic Speaker of the House, and a very disloyal person. Romney was bad, but Paul Ryan made him look worse. As a team, they never had a chance. Trump endorsed them. Rupert and Lachlan, get that dog off your board. You don't need him. All you need is Trump. Make America great again. Calling him a dog, saying that if you don't support Trump 100%, you deserve to be fired and that you're not good for the country if you didn't endorse Trump. Those were the, take, take those three posts that I just gave you together and put them in context. By the way, DeSantis supporters are livid at this. Just take a look at some of these posts. Give me one good reason to support Donald Trump after what he did to 100% Liberty score guy Bob Good. I supported Trump and DeSantis flip-flop between the two of them without the primary. When DeSantis left the primary, Trump was the choice to me. After seeing what happened to Bob Good, I cannot support Donald Trump. Enough is enough with this selfishness. Good luck. If Bob Good loses, I will spend the rest of the year going after Donald Trump online and in meetings across my state. There are too many bad word in GOP attached to Trump's carcass like barnacles. Fingers crossed you can't claim to be on the right and not pulling for Bob Good. If Bob Good loses, it's fair to say that the Republican Party isn't a conservative party anymore. And all the talk from MAGA about rhinos is nonsense. They prefer a rhino. As if I needed one more reason not to vote for Donald Trump, all I have to do is look to look at Trump's attempt to destroy Bob Good in Virginia. I feel like a lot of people are coming around to where I've seen in Iowa. Trump defeating Bob Good has folks finally starting to understand the stakes. It's chess, not checkers. Win one election, but destroy conservatism in the Republican Party. No thanks. And again, Trump repeatedly was attacking uh, Bob Good. What, what, what is Trump looking for though here? Trump is looking for, you know, I'll show you this right here. You see the image right now of that this is Vladimir Putin showing up with Kim Jong-un and you see all of the people. That's what Donald Trump wants, not just the Republican Party, but our country to become that. That's what he wants our country to become. And then if you take a look at the line that was at Donald Trump's event in Wisconsin and compare the first image I just showed you to this right here, you know, and, and, and this is what the, the what the party's becoming. This is what the Republican Party is right now. It just looks like a weirdo cult wearing Trump flag capes and Trump mugshot shirts and, and diapers and, and showing up at events like that. It's very strange. And, you know, here's, here's one of the big MAGA influencers as well, another leader in today's Republican Party, somebody named, a rapper named Forgaccio Blow or something like that here. Big, big MAGA big MAGA Republican uh, who goes to all of the events and is one of their top influencers along with Laura Loomer. Play this clip. Never seen support for any president like this ever, right? Donald Trump has the most support out of anybody. I mean, Donald Trump's almost bigger than, you know, the Philadelphia Eagles, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I mean, his brand is humongous. Well, you can judge for yourself, folks. Let me know what you think. Hit subscribe. We're on our way to 3 million subscribers. Thanks to your support. I'm Ben Micellis. Have a good day. Enough! Send it to the big house, not the White House. Get the new exclusive Tees, mugs, and stickers right now at store.midastouch.com. That's store.midastouch.com.